Hi folks, on this channel, we, have, we are planning to launch a series of videos. It's a web series of videos on this YouTube channel where we'll publish videos on regular basis on the topic of applications of machine learning and AI. Uh, by applications, I mean applications of machine learning which are already being used, like which are currently, these are all current applications of machine learning to various domains from healthcare, travel, tourism, internet search, etc. Also future applications. We will also cover some future applications of machine learning and AI, which we can see in the next three to five years, right? So if you're interested to follow applications of machine learning or to understand how machine learning is already being applied or how it could be applied in the near future, it will be good for you to subscribe to this channel and follow it as, as we'll constantly or regularly publish great content. And uh, I, for this video, if you could leave a comment on what other topics or what other applications you want us to cover, we will prioritize those applications uh, based on popular demand, right? The first application in this current video that we'll discuss is on internet, right? On internet, we see a lot of ads, right? So we'll specifically focus on one type of ad called search ads which is literally the bread and butter of companies like Google and Bing. Again, Bing is a search engine by Microsoft for those of you who don't know or who haven't used it much. So search ads generate billions of dollars of revenue for companies like Google, Bing, and it's also estimated that it generates few billion dollars even for Amazon in one of the recent, uh, uh, this, is, this is again a guesstimate. Amazon never uh, publicly announces how much money they make through ads, but investors assume that they're generating billions. Of course, Google publicly announces how much money they make through ads. Now, uh, let, let me show you a few examples so that, so that it clarifies what's happening for you, right? Suppose, suppose if I go to Google, so here if you notice, I'm on google.co.in. This is the India version of Google search. And if I search buy medicines online, imagine if I'm trying to buy medicines online, which is legal in this part of the world. If I go and search buy medicines online, I get a bunch of ads. Actually, it says clearly here that this is an ad. This is an ad by a advertiser or a company called Med Plus Smart, right? This is also an ad. This is also an ad. This is also an ad. These four are ads actually. All these four are actually ads. And if you scroll down from here, you start seeing the regular results. So because it doesn't say ad here, the results from here on are called organic search results, right? Because these are regular search results and everything above this are ads. These ads are often referred to as sponsored, sponsored search ads. Because these are ads which are sponsored by this, for example, this ad is sponsored by a company called 1mg.com. And the way they work is, so here, let's look at it. Let's look at who are all the players. There is Google and there is a customer. The customer is looking to buy, or the person who is searching here, that is me, is planning to buy medicines online. So there are some companies like MedPlus Smart, like 1MG.com, like PharmEasy.in, like SmartMedics.co. All these companies sell or provide medicines online, right? Now, these companies would want a customer like me who is interested to buy medicine online. They want to attract customers like me to their websites because since I'm looking to buy medicines online and since these people, these companies or these, uh, these, uh, these institutions or these agencies or these startups, sell medicines online, it makes complete sense for them to attract a customer like me to their website because there's a very high chance that they'll actually use their service or their products, right? So now what happens is when it's an ad, Google gets paid a small amount. Whenever I click on this, suppose if I click on this, suppose if I click on this, suppose if I click on this and if I go to medplussmart.com, medplussmart.com pays a small money to Google. And if, if, if an ad is at the top of the page, these are called top of the page ads, right? Because they're at the start. Most people do not even scroll on Google search. They don't, they're even blind to the fact that this is an ad. They just go and click on it, right? And Google makes some money. Google makes billions, B, billions with a B, billions of dollars, billions of dollars of, of revenue every year just through search ads. And I know this very well, and I've worked on this problem because my first job at Yahoo Labs India, my first jobs out of, out of my college was working on when Yahoo was a big search engine. Yahoo also had a big search engine around 2000, 
2008, 2009, and then they sold this search uh, search uh, inventory to, to Microsoft at that point of time. So I was working in the very early, uh, I was working very early in my career on predicting which ad to show for search results for Yahoo, uh, for Yahoo search for countries like Australia and Southeast Asia. Right. Again, it changes by language. It changes by there are lots, there are lots of there are lots of details based on language, geography, etc. So my team was working on Southeast Asia and uh, uh, and uh, it's called APAC, right? Asia Pacific regions. So I have first-hand experience on how this works and how this can really make billions of dollars to companies. Having said that, the same thing you can see on Bing also. So if you go to Bing.com. So you see the same you see the same thing this is an ad on bing this is also an ad on bing this is also an ad on bing this is also an ad on bing below that are the organic results and you see the similar type of companies you see 1mg.com advertising here you see oh here oh surprisingly amazon.in also <laughs> advertises here but i don't think amazon in india sells medicines online i think it's just because buy online for these keywords amazon got triggered as an ad Right. So having said this, so it's very obvious when Google and Bing do it. But let's look at how Amazon in the US. So this is Amazon.com, their US website. Right here, if I search for vitamin supplements, right? When I search for vitamin supplements, like I might I might be interested in buying some vitamin supplements. So one thing you'll notice is you have a lot of these search results. The first search result it says that this is sponsored clearly. Right? So when I click on this. And go and uh, when I click on this, the seller in this case, I think it is emergency is the seller who sells this product on Amazon. This seller gives a cut to Amazon whenever I click on it, and whenever I click on it, whenever I click on it, and go to the go to the landing page and purchase this product. Sometimes it could be based on whether I purchase or not. Sometimes it could be based on whether I click on this ad or not. Right. So similarly, here is another ad because it says sponsored. Right. Again, this is this ad is sponsored by Immuni Tree Inc. Right, because these people are selling this product and they want to be at the top of the search results so that their products get sold more. Similarly, now if you look at this, this person, this ad here, uh, this is not an ad. Sorry, this search result here does not have sponsored. So this is an organic search result. So this is an organic search result. Right. Imagine at the scale of a company like Amazon, where millions of people visit every day. Uh, or every week to purchase their items being at the top of the search results makes a huge impact on how much you can sell right so companies like amazon so companies like amazon companies like amazon bing which is owned by microsoft and google actually make billions of dollars through search ads now you might ask since you understand since we understood a little about search ads what are the big machine learning problems there are multiple machine learning problems in the search ad space or in the sponsored search ads. One of the problems is basically predicting the probability of a click because the, the, the agency like Google or Bing or Amazon gets paid whenever a customer clicks on an ad, right? So they want to predict what is the probability of a click for a given user and for a given search query and for a given ad, right? Because once they have these probabilities, they can arrange or they can they can sort which ad to show to which user because for a given ad and a query and a user, if let's say, if let's say, let's take an example, right? Suppose if I have ad one, right? I'm a user and I have a search query. Let's call it Q1. So same user, if I have ad two and on the same search query, if the probability of click, the probability is written as P, if the probability of click given the user ad one and query one, if it is greater than, the probability of click given a user ad and query right if this probability is more if this probability is more than this probability there it is more likely that this user will click on this ad one rather than on ad two so it is beneficial for a company like google or amazon or amazon to show the ad for ad one rather than ad two at the top of the search results so if they have four ads that they can show it's better to put ad one in this first slot and ad two in the second slot because the probability or the chance that ad one will be clicked by this user u given that he has given query one is higher than ad two right so one of the big machine learning problems we have to solve is to compute these probabilities is to compute the probability of click given this, this is written as given this is called conditional probabilities if you're interested to learn more about 
uh, how these models are built, how some things like this are built, please check out our course at appliedaicourse.com where we have an exhaustive, a very, very thorough course explaining everything from basics of probability up to state-of-the-art deep learning models. Having said that, now you might ask, what is the type of problem? For those of you who may know some machine learning, this problem can be posed as a standard classification problem. And typically in industry, most companies use techniques like logistic regression or boosted decision trees or gradient boosted decision trees to solve this problem. Having said that, now if you want to try, if you know some machine learning, if you know a little bit of logistic regression and GBDT, if you want to try to solve a problem which is similar to this, I would suggest you to go to Kaggle and there's a very nice data set. So if you go to Kaggle, I'll provide, I'll provide you the link for this, but you can just simply search for, uh, if you want to search for it, you can just search for Avazu, A-V-A-Z-U-Z-U, Kaggle. If you search for this on Google, this will be one of the first links that you'll get. So Avazu is, 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 I believe, a small startup which provides you data, which is an advertising company, which provides you data on, uh, on, on past historical clicks. Here you have to predict something called click-through rate. So click-through rate is nothing but it's, it's very related to the probability of click. It's very related to the probability of click. So if you really know some machine learning and if you know basics of logistic regression and GPTT, and if you want to solve a problem of search ads, uh, you could just take up this problem on Kaggle. There is a, there is a good data set on this. So this is a problem hosted by Avazu. It's called the click-through rate prediction. Go through the description of the problem, how to evaluate it, what models have people tried and stuff like that. And you have a data set which you can download. You can just log into this website, download this data set and play with it and understand how to solve or, under, or apply techniques that you know like logistic regression to a real world problem. Those of you who do not know machine learning and who want to learn it, please go to appliedaicourse.com where we offer, uh, to the best of our knowledge, one of the best courses without any prerequisites where we cover everything from basics of programming, basics of Python programming, probability, statistics, up to deep learning. Actually, in our own course, we solve this problem of predicting the probability of click on search ads using Avazu data as a case study. We do this as a case study at Applied AI course for our AI slash ML course, because our course is designed, as the name suggests, it's very, very applied in nature. And we, and we, in addition to teaching all the core theoretical concepts, we make the course very applied by introducing a lot of case studies on real world data sets.